Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the Common Room. On today's video, I have another witchy unboxing for you. So keep watching if you would like to see the latest box from Mindful Souls. So last month I did a Mindful Souls unboxing. This isn't a Harry Potter subscription box, but it is kind of a witchy box that has like crystals and a lot of things that I associate with divination. Now, a lot of you guys did say that you wanted to see more of these, so I did have them send me another one. Now, Mindful Souls did send me this box for free, but of course I will give you guys my honest opinion on all of the items inside. And you can use my code MS underscore Alley for 20% off. Now, if you are interested in purchasing one of these boxes for Mindful Souls, they do have a few different options starting out at $35 a month, and they do have free shipping to anywhere in the US. But now let me give you guys a sneak peek into this box. I forgot that you can't really get a good sneak peek onto these because they have this Mindful Souls paper on the top, but let me look and see what we have in here. So on the top, we did see this Mindful Souls. Oh, I forgot it's the cheese sheet. I can't look at that either. <laughs> but you already saw the little Mindful Souls like little pamphlet. So let me put that to the side. Now I can kind of show you a little bit more of what's in here. So there's a few little things on top. We have this little card that says Mindful Souls on it. And on the back, it has an affirmation for money. On the last video, I wasn't exactly sure what the affirmations were, but one of you guys told me that it's kind of like a spell for yourself. So I'm of course up for an affirmation for money. It says new opportunities to increase my income open up for me now. So that's exciting. Hopefully that works. Last time we had a few stickers. It looks like I'm only seeing one. This one is so perfect when I think again of divination and Professor Trelawney. It says, open your eyes, open your mind. So that's really cute. I could definitely put that on one of my shelves, but let's see what we have in here. The first thing that I see I'm already very excited about because it is a deep cleansing 24 karat gold with collagen peel off mask. Now I definitely need to be taking better self care of myself. And that is a lot of what mindful souls is about is about self care. So this is really fun. It says it's a peel off 24 karat gold mask non-irritating, gentle, clean, safe even for all skin. So if you have sensitive skin, it's saying that you should be able to use it and it is dermatologist tested. If anybody's had like a self-care day, you have to have a mask to put on. So I think this is very nice. I like that it's 24 karat gold. I'll feel a little luxurious wearing it, but that's a really good first item. So now we have all of our little Mindful Souls bags in here. So let's just start pulling them out. This first one is very light. I can't hardly feel anything in it. Again, I love these little bags. I saved all of my ones from last time. I don't know what I'll do with them, but I like them. They're very good quality and just really nice. I like that they're not just little plastic bags either. Oh, it looks like we have like a crystal or some kind of stone in here. Oh, it is a crystal. I don't know anything about them. I get so sad because I don't know what this one is just looking at it. It's just a little guy, but it's got like these orangish colors to it. It looks really pretty. I'm, I'm definitely for crystals. Like I have a little shell on my divination shelf that I have a bunch of crystals in and this guy will definitely be added to the collection. So I'll let you know a little bit more about what this crystal is when we get to our cheat sheet. Of course, you guys know that I'm going to be very excited, especially for anything that I can put on my divination shelf, which might be one of my favorite shelves because I'm just obsessed with divination. We have another little Mindful Souls bag. Oh, oh, I can already tell you I'm very, very excited about this. It's a, some kind of jewelry. Ah, I love it. It's like a bracelet. Oh, I gotta, ah, gotta make sure I don't break it because it's kind of tangled up here, but I can tell that it is a bracelet with all these different gemstones on it. Can't tell, it looks like maybe there's wire in it. Maybe that's why it was. The last one that we got in our last box had kind of like an elastic band in it, but I'm thinking this one is wire because it has like a little clip. But this bracelet is beautiful. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. I'm definitely gonna wear it. It has again, some more of these crystals that are like yellows and orange colors. 
and it has a gold chain here. Let me make sure this fits on my wrist. I'm not talented enough to put this on myself right now, but I just wanted to open it up and make sure it was big enough because it looked kind of little, but it's more than big enough to fit on my wrist. But it is so pretty. I cannot wait to wear this bracelet. This type of jewelry is just very my style. Although there are a lot of little crystals on here, the colors themselves are very neutral. And so I can really wear it with a lot of things. So I just really, really like this. I think we have three more bags in here. So let's see what this one is. Oh, we have another stone. I think this is just a stone, not a crystal. Oh wait, what are you? It's a little turtle. I really like it. So I'm not sure what type of gemstone this is or what type of stone, but again, it's very kind of neutral. It's like black and gray, but it's shaped in the form of this little turtle. So you can see he's got, it's just really pretty, the coloring on it. You can kind of see his shell and his little feet right there. You can see his shell a little better. And his little face has almost like a little angry face on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll make sure to show him to you. I really like that he's a little turtle. I can still probably put him on my divination shelf. I might not just because he's kind of cute and I don't know what a turtle would really have to do with the wizarding world, but he's really cute and I definitely like him. Let's just move right on to our next bag and see what we have. This one feels kind of like the other one did with the turtle. Like maybe there's something shaped into something in here. Oh, I don't think it's shaped into something, but it looks really cool. Oh, this is definitely going on the shelf. This is crazy. I don't even know what kind of crystal this is, but it's gorgeous. Look, this one is just so unique. It's like all these different little crystals coming out of this. It's really shiny. I'm really, really enjoying the colors on these. Like the other one was black and gray, but almost everything else in here has been these neutrally orange, yellow, this one even has a little maybe bit of pink tint to it, but I absolutely love that this is like a little cluster of crystals. It looks so shiny because there's so many of them coming out. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely obsessed with this and this is 100% going on my divination shelf. We've just got the one last bag, I'm trying to feel. I can't tell, this one's a little longer, but I can't tell if it's another stone or, oh, it's some kind of jewelry item, but it has a stone in it as well. Oh, I really like this one too, you guys. So this looks like it is a, it's a necklace with a clear quartz in it. And it's got like this tree design on the front of it. So I know that a lot of times with like the witchy kind of vibe and aesthetic, you see a lot of tree symbols. And I really like this one because everything's in kind of like a rose gold color. Again, these colors that have been in this box have just been me to a T. I love all the neutrals, but if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know that I am also really obsessed with like a watercolor aesthetic. And the blue and purple and green gems in this put off such a big watercolor vibe. And I really like this one as well. So this necklace, I really think that's so cool. It's a little bigger than a lot of the jewelry that I wear, but it's still so simple feeling. Like it's not a huge gaudy piece of jewelry that I will definitely still be wearing this one. Yeah. I really like this item as well, you guys. All right, guys, so that was all of our items out of our box. So let's look at the cheat sheet, make sure we got everything that we needed and look a little more into what type of crystals these were. 
So our first item was the Citrine Point. So that was our first little crystal that was like the yellow and orange color. It says a Citrine Point is believed to elevate optimism and energy to a place more able to manifest and accept opportunity. For our next item, it was our Gold Peel Off Face Mask. Feel an instant boost of hydration for your skin with a spa fresh feeling that will last for days. Only 15 minutes and you will reach ultimate relaxation and peace. Our next item was the red aragonite. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It says that the red aragonite acts as a stabilizing stone and can be helpful for those who have focused on bringing more harmony into their life. Meditating with red aragonite, I'm just butchering that I know, can help to ground spiritual growth into the lower chakras, raising the overall vibration of the body. Then our next item is the Tree of Life Necklace, a clear quartz, I was right on one thing, <laughs> is wrapped in a magical tree with leaves of amethyst and green aventurine. Green aventurine carries a strong connection to earth while the amethyst improves concentration. Then we have the Snowflake Obsidian Turtle. Snowflake Obsidian, also is known as the Mirror Stone, is believed to reflect evil eye energy back to the sender. Snowflake Obsidian is associated with protection from harm and is said to break bad luck while the turtle is a symbol of success, fertility, vitality, and great patience. Then our last item was the Citrine Bracelet. So we had two Citrine items in here, which is the items that had that yellowish color. Citrine is the stone of light and happiness. Wearing a Citrine bracelet strengthens your will, motivation, and determination, helping you go after the things you want. Again, on the bottom, it does say, please note, it's important to cleanse and energize your crystals as soon as you obtain them. And it does give you a way to cleanse your crystals. So now let's go over my favorite and least favorite items. I don't really have too much of a least favorite item out of the box. I would maybe say the face mask. I'm still gonna use it. And I know that these boxes are, you know, advertised for self-love. And this is probably definitely something that you would want for that. But you know me, I'm here for all the divination-y items. I really enjoyed that this box gave us so many crystal items this time because I can just 100% put them on my divination shelf and they really remind me of the divination theme. But now for my favorite item, Ooh, I really liked, again, all of the crystal items, but I think that my favorite one, I'm going to have two favorites. So let me find them. So my first favorite item is going to be this Citrine bracelet. Again, I just think it's beautiful. I, I apparently really like this crystal and I'm getting really good vibes from it and I'm definitely going to be wearing it. But then my second favorite item is this crystal that I can't pronounce its name, but the red aragonite air. Again, I just don't know what I'm saying here, but this crystal is just beautiful. I really, really like it. It's so shiny. It's almost got like this natural glitter to it because of all the different crystals that are coming out of it. Yeah, this is 100% going on my shelf and is probably my favorite crystal that we received in the box. So overall, I did really enjoy all of the items in this box. Now these boxes are a little different for me and a little new to me because most of the things that I open on here are Harry Potter boxes and items, but I really enjoyed this one. It was a lot different than the last box. So it looks like you can get just a really big different variety of items in these. Now, I feel like with this one, we got a lot of crystals, which I really enjoyed that because again, I'm all about divination, which is my main reason that I really kind of like opening these. As always guys, I would love to know what you thought about the items in this box. Leave a comment, let me know what your favorite and least favorite pieces were. And let me know if these boxes are still something that you would like to see me move forward with and show you on our channel. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.